Hello everyone, it's Tomas here. This is a video tutorial to guide you through the first steps of the Oral Skills Extra Practice project that we have organized at Quid UNED. Welcome all and let's get to it. As we pointed out in our introductory web conference session, the call for volunteers has been quite successful. 53 advanced students of English have enrolled. During this project, you will receive the invaluable support of my colleague Pilar Rodriguez and myself. We will always be there to lend you a hand and help you through any technical problems that you may experience. The main objectives of Oral Skills Extra Practice are to provide students with supplementary tasks to train their communicative skills, to learn how to listen to oral texts effectively and, last but not least, to promote peer-to-peer -peer critical exchanges in English. So far we have completed stage 1 of the project, we have introduced ourselves, completed the preliminary task, which was presented in three separate parts, filled in a questionnaire and held an inaugural web conference, which will be accessible in a few days. If you have not had the time to finish any of these steps, do not worry, you may still do so. This week we start stage 2. If you're watching this video tutorial, then you're certainly in the right place. With the help of these essential guidelines, you will be able to start working with the sample ads and try your hand at dubbing. In other words, replacing the original audio track with your own synchronized recording. Next week, after having practiced with the samples, you will be assigned a 30-second advertisement, which you will be invited to transcribe in English, translate to your mother tongue and dub in those two languages. In addition, you will be encouraged to produce a creative script both in English and in your mother tongue. What do we mean by creative? A creative dubbing is not simply an emulation or a translation of the original soundtrack, but the creation of a new text, which may, or may not, bear any resemblance to the original. To put it simply, you will preserve the image and tell your own story. The week after that, we will follow the exact same procedure with a slightly longer assignment. In this case, a 60-second classic American advertisement. Once again, you will start with the transcript, continue with the translation and finish with both of your creative versions. Rest assured, you will soon get the hang of it. By the end of the project, you will be provided with an assessment rubric, which you will use to evaluate your own work, as well as that of your peers. During the whole project you're encouraged to support one another and to check anything you want with us tutors. When the assessment stage is complete we will revisit the preliminary task and complete another questionnaire. A second web conference will be organized in late March to invite participants to express their views and discuss whatever they have found most remarkable about the Oral Skills Extra Practice Initiative. Finally, in late April, you will be invited to complete a follow-up task which will permit us to measure your mid-term improvement. There is no rush, since the subgroup's virtual space will stay open until the end of the academic year. Remember, there are no silly questions. When in doubt, do not hesitate to post your query in the appropriate forum. We will always help you to the best of our ability. Let us now focus on the dubbing part of the project to which we will devote three to four weeks and approximately 15 hours of work. The first thing you should do the moment you receive your sample ad, your 30 second assignment or your 60 second classic American advertisement is to watch it attentively a few times until you understand most of the words which are spoken. Then you should proceed to write a full transcript as complete as possible, share it in the virtual forum and with the help of other students, find out which words you were missing. With your complete text, you may start translating to your mother tongue and recording two tracks, one in English and one in your mother tongue. Take into account that these tracks should fit as well as the original. Finally, it's time to get a bit crazy and make up a completely new script. Make it serious, make it comical, create a thriller, do what you will. There's only one condition to make the viewer believe your creative versions in English and in your mother tongue are as credible and persuasive as the one that you were handed. Again, share your impressions in the forums and we will help you do the video editing after your recordings are final. 
and a good film needs at least a few takes, so don't despair. Now, what would a video tutorial be without a good example, right? Here is an excerpt from James Whale's 1956 film Plan 9 from Outer Space. Pay attention to the lip synchrony as well as to the music and sound effects. We will be back in a minute. My friend, you have seen this incident based on sworn testimony. Can you prove that it didn't happen? Perhaps on your way home, someone will pass you in the dark. And you will never know it, for they will be from outer space. Many scientists believe that another world is watching us this moment. We once laughed at the horseless carriage, the aeroplane, the telephone, the electric light, vitamins, radio, and even television. And now some of us laugh at outer space. God help us in the future. What suspense, don't you think? In case you're curious about this film, there is a link in the description for you to watch it in full when you have the time. What have we done with it? We have scrupulously followed the steps we discussed earlier, we watched the clip three or four times and we finished our transcript. After reading it out loud and adding our own interpretation, here is the result. My friend, you have seen this incident based on sworn testimony. Can you prove that it didn't happen? Perhaps on your way home, someone will pass you in the dark. And you will never know it for they will be from outer space. Many scientists believe that another world is watching us this moment. We once laughed at the horseless carriage, the aeroplane, the telephone, the electric light, vitamins, radio and even television. And now some of us laugh at outer space. God help us in the future. What do you think? Notice that we also search for a piece of non-copyrighted music to create a more mysterious effect. You should do the same with your samples and your assignments. Now apart from translating the words of your transcript, you should not lose sight of the essentials of synchrony. Here is an example. You are invited to compare this Spanish text with the original version and decide whether an absolutely faithful conveyance would have been feasible. Amigos, han presenciado unos acontecimientos basados en testimonios jurados. Puede probarse que esto no haya pasado. Cuando se hayan marchado, se los habrán cruzado en la oscuridad, sin ni siquiera darse cuenta, porque proceden del espacio exterior. Los científicos piensan que nos están observando en este mismísimo momento. Era inconcebible el coche sin caballos, el aeroplano, el teléfono, la luz eléctrica, las vitaminas, la radio e incluso la televisión. Y ahora se atreven a burlarse del espacio exterior. ¿Qué será de nosotros en el futuro? The soundtrack has changed once again, and even though it is now the third time that we watch the same clip, the impression is rather different. To finish with this exemplification, the moment has arrived to reveal our creative script versions in English and in Spanish. Are they believable? You be the judge. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here right this instant because tragedy has hit the townsfolk. Can you possibly understand this mishap? People have always known that more than a few brands of bacon are actually made of newspaper and scandalized by this outrageous news. The multitudes made a decision that will be remembered as momentous. Truly overwhelmed were the doctors of this town. They wanted information. 
The results came late, while the mob, exhausted, quenched its slavish thirst. The whole population was shocked at the doctor's statement. Newspapers were more nutritious. What does the creative script have to do with the original? The answer is simple. Absolutely nothing. In fact, they could not be further apart. But just you wait, there's more. This is the creative script in Spanish. Queridos amigos, quizá ya se han dado cuenta de que me peino con un muy visible tirabuzón. No se me ocurre ninguna otra alternativa. Estar impecable en el estrellato se convierte en una pasión como no hay otra. Necesita estudio y sacrificios. Quizás algunos de ustedes se estén preguntando. ¿Será cierto que en el mundo de la farándula no hay más que fama y fortuna? Otros añorarán sus memorias de África. Robert Redford, Meryl Streep y a Marlene Dietrich, la gran Elizabeth Taylor, Cary Grant y Humphrey Bogart. Todos ellos son casos únicos entre 100 millones. Un tirabuzón. Eso es solo el principio. Here is a summary of the final products you should have created by the end of our oral skills extra practice collaborative effort. For each of the ads, one dubbed version in English and another in your mother tongue. Also, a creative dubbing in English, as well as a creative dubbing in your mother tongue. Do not forget to find the support you need from your colleagues and us tutors. Far from being penalized, teamwork is encouraged. Do not be shy and use the forums. We hope that you find this project enjoyable and enriching. In just a few days we will release another video with specific instructions on how to edit your final work. Thank you, and see you soon. Bye!